Wow. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Scott's Garage. We're going to try something a little bit different today. I had, was going through this um, magazine, it's Wood, Great Projects, but it's from Wood Magazine, Volume 4, and they have a section on skill builders. Skill builder. Earn your degree and dovetail. And I've never made a duck, dovetail in my life. I've never cut a duck, dovetail, but I'd kind of like to learn how to do it. So. I did go ahead and buy a dovetail saw. It was an expensive one. It was not an expensive one on Amazon. And I think I'm going to try on some pine. Something that's kind of soft. I got a couple pieces of pine. And I thought maybe I would try to uh, figure out how to do hand cut dovetails. I know that's pretty ambitious. and <laughs> I don't know how, how it's going to come out. Being that I've never done it before. But what the heck. Let's give it a try. Well, I don't know if you noticed, but I am sporting the uh, Norm Abram flannel today uh, in tribute to him. Uh, he's retiring, or he did retire not too long ago. And there was a great uh, little documentary, like one hour on the Roku channel, called The House That Norm Built. And it's about his whole story with this old house, new Yankee workshop. He had a huge um, impact on me. He was the one that basically taught me any every skill that you see me using in the in the garage. I've learned a few things from my dad, but mostly it was from Norm. <laughs> from the magazine here, it's just a one pager just on how to do dovetails, and I'm going to follow it right to the T. So what it does is it has you measuring out um, the pin detail, and uh, let's do that now. The basic idea is I'm going to cut the pins in this piece and then come back and kind of draw them out on here and then we'll cut these out after so that's kind of my idea so if i want to measure down three quarter and put a line then i can start laying out my pin details so if i measure down three quarter here three quarter here Let's make a line. Let's do a quarter, one, quarter, one, quarter, one, kind of like they do have here. So something like that. All right, let's cut her out. All right, I have no idea how to do this, but I'm gonna go for it anyway. I tried this in a piece of um, much harder wood. It was like oak or something, and it was kind of a disaster. Uh, it just took so long to make the cuts that I think maybe some sort of um, power equipment would be better. Okay, so I had them all cut, and I did watch a video because my saw tends to want to go off to one side. And I watched a video about how to kind of uh, file the teeth a little bit so they're a little less aggressive on one side than the other so it goes down straight. What it was saying is that the, the teeth stick out right, left, right, left, right, left. And if they're kind of favoring towards one side, you'll get sort of an angled cut like this one right here. If it's um, not... If you can kind of knock down that one high side, then the saw will go true. And so that's kind of what I'm struggling with right now is trying to make sure that I do that. And not really perfect, but 
I don't think bad for a first pass. All right, let's try to knock those out of there. I'm a little unsure how to do this uh, and what size chisel to use. Uh, start with a half inch, but my first inclination was just to hit the chisel straight down. But then I was like, well, you can't do that because these go at an angle. So how do I chisel like at an angle like that? I don't know. I don't really know. I guess this will fit in there. Um, okay, maybe I should put a line back here too. So I know how deep to go on this side. Kind of like that. So that's pretty good. The depth, I think I got the depth fairly okay. So I don't know, do I like go at an angle? And do I just eyeball the angle? I don't know. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is kind of like score these all the way across and then maybe try to angle them. I don't know. Then I don't know, just keep going sort of an angle. Enter. Yeah. So this, if I face it this way, it allows me to see what I'm doing and I can kind of follow the, follow the thing and then it sort of broke out. Hey, that doesn't look that bad. <laughs> All right. And I don't know, maybe a little like sanding block in there or something. That looks like kind of a respectable dovetail. First one, first one I ever did. <laughs> this is fun. Well, let me tell you, it's a lot easier to cut dovetails in a piece of pine than it is a piece of oak. <laughs> I guess that's uh, that sounds like a proverb. Confucius say it is much easier to cut a dovetail in pine than it is in oak. That's true. Confucius, you are so wise. So now what do I do? Okay, so then do we do this? And so I just kind of put it in an angle and try to go down. And then this one, we could do this one first. All right, okay, let's try to take these three little guys out. All right, so I switched to a smaller chisel. This is the quarter inch. It just kind of crack right out of there. That's neat. And I don't know, do we Try to clean this up somehow. Now, how do we do this? This just, just supposed to slide into there. Hmm. 
Boy, they sure don't fit tightly, do they? That is, I think, the worst joint, the worst dovetail anybody has ever cut on planet Earth. Well, you know, with a little bit of filing, I mean, there's some pretty big gaps here, but with a little bit of filing, I got it to fit quite a bit better. So, and it's even kind of like, it's even sort of locked together a little bit. I think if I was to do this over again, I could probably do a little bit better, but that's not too bad. Hmm. You know, for a first try, I don't think that's quite bad. There's no glue and it's kind of like locked in there. That's pretty neat. Dang. <laughs> that's fun. That's actually really, really fun. Let's try gluing this thing together. Oh, this is where like a, a little brush really helps, huh? There we go. Man, we're looking professional. This was pretty fun. If anybody wants to give this a try, so I don't know, for 50 bucks, they can get started with making their own hand cut dovetails. All right, let's let that dry. We'll return after these messages. Well, I'm not sure why, but I thought I would sand this just so I could kind of see the dovetails better and take a closer look at this. And it looks pretty nice. I think I might put a little bit of stain on there just so maybe the... Uh, the dovetails will pop a bit. This is just some like natural clear stain. I guess that's a, doesn't really make any sense, does it? Clear stain. <laughs> I love the smell of stain. Oil base stain, it's so nice. Okay, let's see. Ooh, that looks cool. I like it. Put it real thick. That looks great. <laughs> that really lets it pop, doesn't it? And it feels really solid too. Uh-oh, I think we need to break it. Do we need to break it? Yeah, I think we do. All right, so we'll hang it like this so it'll pull down on the joint. Okay, I think I was able to find everything to make it exactly the same as our other test. There we go. And then we'll just hang it on the uh, workbench. First test of dovetail joints in a piece of pine. Okay, so I sort of cobbled together a second uh, bucket here.
So let's just look at what we have here. We have two five gallon buckets, canola oil, all kinds of tools and weight sets and everything. I thought this was gonna be like a one bucket thing. I didn't know this was gonna be <laughs> the end all be all of strong joints. Oh. But it's really deflecting. But we're swinging. We're free hanging. It's not touching on anything. <laughs> oh my gosh. That albacore tuna is ready to go. Look at how it's split there, but then it's like not split here. It's like it really, really reduces that or resists that spreading of just that type of force that I'm putting on it. The, those dovetails just do not want to fail. Ooh, it's really deflecting now, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> oh my God, that was incredible. Let's look at this. Wow. Made a mark where the washer went. And that just did not want to That did not want to come off of there. And it, you know, that was my first dovetail. It wasn't even that well carved out, but man, that is amazing. Okay. Well, let's, um, let's weigh all this and see how much it is. This isn't too heavy. 30, 30 pounds. All right, adding up the grand total, 290 pounds. Pretty close to almost 300 pounds, 290 pounds. That's far and away. The, uh, the one with the screws, the glue failed at about 170 and then I kind of stopped it at about 258 because it was just hanging off the screws. It wasn't even really maintaining a joint at that point. So that's not even, so really around one, 180 was about the best I could do with the other joints. Dovetail in a much weaker board, just pine, 290 pounds. I think that's amazing. <laughs> that was pretty fun. All right. Well, that was a cool uh, thing for me to make my own hand cut dovetails. Never done that before. They actually fit pretty well, even though initially it looked kind of bad, but once I filed a little bit, they actually fit in there pretty nicely, glued it up, hung it, and man, that is one strong joint, I gotta tell you. So, hope you had fun watching this. I, I had fun doing it, and we'll see you next time on Scott's Garage. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.